Welcome back to SA Live. What's Easter without the Easter Bunny? But before you think about getting your very own Easter mascot, there's some things that you should know. Joining me today is Austin Whaley, the Director of Operations for Happy Hops Company, along with Am Amaris Garcia again. Now, you are also co-owner with Happy Hops, if you saw her at the top of the show. Welcome, both of you. Thank you so much. Now, you have a lot of important information for people because this time of the year, people tend to go out and purchase rabbits. Um, they fall in love with them very quickly, but then they're abandoned after Easter. Tell me about this. Yeah, so bunnies start out very small and very cute. That's how the pet stores like to get them, and they like to sell them quickly. Before the bunnies can be properly sexed, they'll sell you a male and a female. They'll tell you they're two boys or two girls. And then about 28 days later, you've got a whole litter of bunnies oh waiting. Oh, my goodness. Um, they also grow up very, very quickly, and the bunny that you bought small in about two months will be fully grown. They get less cute. They get a little bitey when the children start to pick them up. And then that's about when we see them. About two months after Easter is when we get our real big Easter influx. And that's what you guys do. You help out with that issue. Um, obviously, it's 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 an issue, especially during mm -hmm. Easter. But first of all, who did you bring today? Let's let's in, introduce this guy here. So here we have Simba. He's a lionhead rabbit. Um, so he's a dwarf rabbit. He's about three pounds. He's a really small guy. Um, <laughs> he's about one to two years old. So he is a full adult rabbit, which means that he had his full hormones, everything. Um, so we did have to get him neutered, which is why it's very important to get your bunny spayed or neutered because um, they just live longer, healthier lives. And it just curbs a lot of the bad behavior, which is why there's kind of a misconception about bunnies. And how, how do they usually end up in your care? Like in Simba's case, somebody abandoned Simba, right? Yeah, so a lot of people will adopt a baby rabbit. They think it's cute. And then later on, come to find out all of the, you know, hassles that may come with having a rabbit because they aren't properly prepared and educated and then they just dump their rabbit which um, that's how we found Simba we're pretty sure he was dumped and roaming the wilderness for quite a long Aww, time yeah look at him he's so cute and, and one of the misconceptions uh, people think that they belong in cages but you're telling me that's not the case right yeah so this is the house rabbit society's minimum recommended 4x4 exercise pen and it serves as a home base for your bunny this is not enough space for the bunny, but when they're sleeping from maybe noon to 8 p.m., this is where they like to be. And then in the evenings when you get off work, you open them up, open up the cage, you let them run around. Big misconception is that rabbits are outdoor animals. Couldn't be farther from the truth. These guys average about 103 degree internal body temperature, and they're always wearing a fur coat. So even if you have shade outside for them or a covered hutch, um, it's just not enough in the Texas heat. Got it. And how, how can people help that are watching right now? Uh, how can they help out Happy Hops? Um, we can take like donations, you know, to help us get supplies to keep fostering these bunnies and keeping this organization alive. Um, we need fosters, people who are willing to open their homes and love on these rabbits. We'll provide the rest. Um, and we also just need people to, I guess, contact us if you see a rabbit that you suspect has been dumped or, you know, if you're not sure if it's a wild or domesticated bunny, it never hurts to ask. And this is obviously something that you're very passionate about, right? Certainly, yeah. I've been involved with multiple organizations since 2011, including Ohio House Rabbit Rescue, the Columbus House Rabbit Society, Columbus Humane, and I'm really excited to take, tappy, to take Happy Hops and start working in San Antonio. Thank you guys so much for all you do. Now, if you'd like to volunteer or donate to Happy Hops Rescue, you can head over to our website, salive.com. You can click the Ask Scene on SA Live tab or just scan the QR code right there on your screen. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Amaris. Thank you, Simba. <laughs>